Hey what's going on guys and girls, in today's video I'll be showing you how to optimize and rank your content in less than 10 minutes using AI. And to do this we'll be using Neuron Writer. Neuron Writer is a content optimization tool which pulls all the most important information for a specific keyword and gives you recommendations that you need to follow if you would like to increase the likeness of ranking your blog post on the first page of Google. And at the time of recording this video, Neuron Writer does have a lifetime deal that is live on AppSumo. So currently you can get a lifetime deal without having to pay monthly for just a one-time purchase of $69. So if you would like to grab the lifetime deal for Neuron Writer, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. So once you have a plan for a new end writer, the first thing that you'd want to do is add your domain as a project. This will allow you to get more customizable and more relevant information and recommendations that you need to follow based upon your own domain. So once you've set up your domain, now it's time to start analyzing the search results for um, that specific keyword in which you're trying to optimize for. And in order to get started, you want to go ahead and click new query. And this is where you'll enter the keyword in which you're trying to rank for. So for instance, let's say I want to optimize and rank my blog post, which talks about how to make money online as a teenager. So this would be the seed keyword in which I am trying to rank for, or it could be make money online as a teenager, um, whatever uh, you think is the main keyword in which you're targeting. So once you've decided your keyword, next you want to go ahead and choose the search engine. If you're in the United States, you can keep this um, as is, and you can also change the language if needed. And once you're happy with your query, go ahead and click start. Now what's going to happen is Neuron Writer is going to go out and pull um, some of the most important ranking factors from the top 20 ranked blog posts for that specific keyword. If I were to manually head over to Google and search up that keyword, this would be the SERP results. So this is going to show me the top rank um, blog post for that specific keyword. So essentially what Neuron Writer is going to do, it's going to automate this process. It's going to go ahead, take a look at all of the top ranked blog posts and websites, and it's going to list uh, and recommend some specific things in which those websites are doing that allow them to rank on the first page of Google. And then it's going to give you some recommendations that you can follow to help you outrank those websites or blog posts. So once that keyword is finished loading up, just go ahead and click on it. And the first step is where um, you'll be able to select or deselect any competitors that you would like your content to be compared with. So for instance, let's say you have a website um, such as Wikipedia or you have a forum like Quora or Reddit, you can deselect those specific websites, but you can also select um, some comparable competitors within that space. So let's say you know that you won't be able to outrank the first uh, five blog posts. You can deselect those, but let's say you're trying to go um, after the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth um, blog post, then you can go ahead and select some websites that are uh, similar to your domain authority and websites that you know you have a higher chance of outranking if you optimize your content correctly. So this allows you to get the most relevant data and recommendation based upon the competitors that you're going after. And your competitors will be sorted by rank, content score, this is going to be a number between zero and 100. The higher the number, the more optimized that content is, the length of words within their blog post, page title, and URL. So once you've went ahead and selected or deselected any of your competitors, you can then move on to the next step. So again, what Neuron Writer is going to do, it's going to gather all of the most important ranking factors from those selected competitors, and it's gonna put it all within your content editor. And once that's finished loading, you'll be directed over to the content editor. So this is where all of the magic happens you would paste the content from your article in which you generated within this section on the left hand side we'll be doing that in a little bit and then you'll be able to optimize your content based upon the recommendations by a new end writer. When it comes to optimizing your content, there's a couple of ways in which you can go about it. You can first go ahead and generate the full content either by writing it manually or using an AI copywriter. And then you can paste that content within your content editor and make the changes as needed. The second way in which you can go about creating your content is using the article draft feature, which is included in new end writer. And this will allow you to um, actually formulate the outline for your blog post using the data that you're getting back from the top ranked blog blog post and then you can go ahead and um, create the um, paragraphs for that outline and then do the optimization after that. So a couple of ways in which you can go about this is really dependent on what works best for you. But I personally believe that if you want to um, get the most optimized content, it is better to start with the article layout in New Run Writer and then pop that into the AI copywriter in which you're using or um, just filling the content manually. On the right hand side of the article draft feature, this is where you'll be able to see the H1, H2 and H3 tags. So you can actually go ahead and filter by H1 tags, 
you can filter by h2 and h3 so if you just wanted to um, have h1 tags you can just select that and deselect the other ones and there you go you can find some nice titles for um, your specific blog posts and as you can see here you can see the actual competitor within this section as well so those are your h1s but if you actually want to get some um, actionable titles in which you can include within your article you'd want to use the h2 tags for example we see some h2s which talks about how can teens make money online what are the pros and cons how can i earn money is it legal how do you get paid so these are all really good. Do you need parental consent to work online as a teen? Really good. Is working online as a teen safe? How much money can you make working online as a teen? And so on. So as you can see here, we get some really, really good H2s. And again, if you want some um, H3s, you can also filter by that. Um, and you can add those into your article. Are there online jobs for teens? How much money can I make? How can a teenager make $1,000 and so on? And if you wanted to filter by questions, again, you can also filter by questions. And these will be um, the most commonly asked questions on Google for this specific keyword. So how can a 15 year old make money? That's a good one. You can add that in. How can a 14 year old make money and so on so this is all really really good content ideas in which you're getting back from new on writer if you were to create your content then have to add all of this information in after it could take um, a little bit longer than you would like so once that's all completed and you're happy with your article draft you can copy that to the editor boom and as you can see it will be um, generated right on to your um, content editor. Now, another cool feature that's included in Nuan Writer that makes it really unique is their AI Writer. So they actually have a built-in AI Writer that you can use to um, add some more content onto your uh, blog post or article. Now, I don't necessarily recommend that you generate the full content using their AI Writer, but it definitely helps to add um, some additional content onto your articles or blog post. So if you wanted to use um, the article writer, just go ahead and click the um, icon here that says beta and generate. And this will allow you to actually go ahead and generate um, some content here for that specific section boom and once that content is completed you can copy it to the editor boom and as you can see the content is pasted here so so again if you want to generate content using the ai built into new and writer just go ahead and click the beta um, button and then you can change the headings this has some old headings here and then you want to go ahead and click generate and you'll be able to generate 400 words using their built-in ai and once that's completed go ahead and copy it to the editor so a nice feature uh, included there so a really nice and useful feature included there by having that ai writer and that's why i believe new and writer is one of the best content editors in the market not only are they pretty affordable when you compare it to other content optimization tools such as surfer seo they have some really powerful features included and they're not just a content editor they're also an ai copywriter as well so you kind of get both of the best worlds all in one with new and writer so i've went ahead and um, generated a blog post about how to make money online as a teenager and i'm going to go ahead and paste it within this content editor as you can see we went from having a couple hundred words to over 2000 300 words so once you've pasted your content in your content editor now it's time to start your optimization the first thing in which you'd want to do is you want to go ahead and take a look at the terms in article these are going to be the keywords that are included currently within your blog post and article and this is going to really help with your on-page optimization because when google is trying to read what your content is all about um, it comes to its conclusion based upon the keywords that you have within your articles so you want to make sure that you're including the target keyword and variations of that keyword the ideal amount of times within your articles and this will be a nice guide for you to use any keyword that's in red means you've added it too many times within your article usually i just leave this as is um, obviously you don't want to keyword stuff your articles or blog posts but it's okay to have a little bit more of a specific keyword especially if that's the main keyword anything that's in green means you've added in the ideal amount of times so you don't have to make any changes there anything that's in yellow means that you need to add it in a couple more times and anything in white means that you haven't added in that keyword um, into your blog post so all you want to do is go ahead and click on those specific keywords and you can just copy them and find wherever it makes sense to add it in to your blog post Next, let's add the keywords that are in gray. These are keywords that have not been added into our blog post. So again, I just wanna go through my article and wherever makes the most sense, I'm gonna paste this keyword in. So we've went ahead and added in those keywords that weren't originally in our content. And as you can see, our content score has already increased from a 26 to a 31. So those are the terms in articles. Next, you wanna go ahead and take a look at the terms in headers. So these are going to be the keywords that are included in your H1 and your h2 tag so you want to make sure that you're including these specific target keywords not only in your blog post paragraphs but also 
in your blog post headings. Okay, so I've went ahead and added in the keyword make money online into our um, heading here. Let's make sure that this is an H1 tag. Boom, and as you can see, this should now be green. Nice. And as you can see here, we got a pretty big jump within our content score. And that's what I've noticed as well um, with using these tools. If you include those target keywords within your H1 tags and H2, it can really help optimize your content. So as you can see, just by adding in your H1 tags and your H2 tags within um, your article or blog post, you can get a big jump in your content score. So that's the first thing in which you'd want to do when you're starting to optimize your blog post or article using New Writer. You want to first use the terms in article section to add um, those keywords within your blog post. And then you will also want to use the terms in header and use uh, those keywords and add it into your H1 and your H2 tags. Next up, you can head over to ideas and this will give you some content ideas based upon the data that the top ranked blogs um, are using. And you can use this within your article or blog post as well. So the first section here is questions to answer. This is going to be the most commonly asked questions from Google. Below that will be your competitors H1 sections and your competitors H2 and your competitors H3 section. So as you remembered earlier within the article draft section, we were able to see the H1 and H2. So this is another place in which you can take a look um, at some content ideas. And if you see any sections that you like the best, you can just go ahead and copy that text and then paste it over to your content editor on the left hand side. And on the right side of the content ideas will be the YouTube tab. This is where you'd be able to get some more content ideas from YouTube videos. This is actually a really nice touch because you can watch some videos out there, see whichever content makes sense for your blog post and add that in within your blog post. And if you want to keep track of your content, you'd be able to do so at the top of your content editor you'd be able to see the number of characters, the number of H1 headers, H2 headers, number of bolded text, and the number of images in your content. If you want to improve your content score, it's always best practice to include images within your content. So let's go ahead and add some images and see how that affects our content score. So just by adding images and optimizing our headers and terms in article, we were able to go from a content score of 26 to now a content score of 50. I would uh, do some further optimizations if I were to post this on my website or blog, but you don't need to overly optimize um, your blog posts. The um, fact of the matter is that you want to get as many blog posts as you can up on Google. Once you start to get some traffic, then you may want to go ahead and then overly optimize that content to get more traffic out of those rankings. But right now, um, this is actually higher than the top 30 medium in terms of our content score. The highest of all selected competitors is 64 in terms of a content score. Top 10, the medium is 52. So we're kind of right within that medium for the top 10 and we're higher for the top 30 medium, which is 45. So I'm pretty happy with this content score and I would be pretty confident to post this on my website or blog. So that's how you use New Run Writer to optimize and rank a blog post in less than 10 minutes. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new and you can actually implement this strategy to help you optimize your content a lot quicker. If you would like to get the lifetime deal for New Run Writer, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. You can grab the lifetime deal before it does expire. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.